And so I forgot to bring it up because none of this is scripted. So I'll put it at the beginning and you'll be confused. It's Passover right now. During Ramadan, the church had church news practically every day of how great Islam is and we're just like Islam. Islam is so awesome and true. <laughs> and we're celebrating Ramadan with you. Well, it's Passover and the church Mormon crickets. Church hates the Jews. It's an established fact. <sighs> okay, on with the show. <sighs> Travis went good song. So I'm watching Star Trek uh, the other day or yesterday. There was the episode in which a group of uh, uh, humans had uh, been on a planet for 90 years, having gone to the wrong location, being driven off course, and they made themselves at home on the planet. And uh, it was a violation of a treaty with uh, a particular alien race. And so, as uh, uh, the Enterprise was required to remove these people from the planet, they were not wanting to listen to the warning voice because the aliens were going to exterminate them for violating the treaty agreement and being on their land. And data was sent to warn the people and to leave with the Enterprise to be moved to a new location. But they did not want to go. They did not believe that data as a android was a sufficient authority to uh, convince them to go. He didn't have the right titles, shall we say, and he wasn't human, and so they didn't want to believe him. And so what Data ended up having to do was to take action to convince them that they needed to leave. And it wasn't until they realized the physical threat to their lives that they finally uh, agreed to go. And so yeah, I do see the comparison with Mormons. We'll get to that. Get more introduction to waste time with and get you angry and bored and want to leave and not want to listen anyway. <laughs> As you know, there are group groups protesting at universities across this nation. And they claim that they are pro-Palestinian. A protest it is, even though it has pro in it, it refers to being against or anti of some action or other group that is threatening what you are wanting protected. And so you don't have staged protests at a university demanding that teachers use textbooks. <laughs> it's already being done. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's already Palestine. It already exists. What are you talking about being for Palestine? You're not being clear in your protest. And so when you actually get right down to it, they are anti-Israel. They are anti-Semitic. 
that is what they are protesting. They are protesting the extermination and eradication of Israel. Palestine believes it's their land and they're coming to murder Israel. Similar to Star Trek, but different. There is no agreement for Palestine to be there. The land actually belongs to Israel. It is Palestine that needs to leave. <laughs> Oopsies. And so, yes, as a result of this, being anti-Semitic, demanding and trying to force our government to be against Israel, and thus be anti-Semitic, they are terrorists. They're trying to threaten the government to make changes to take away the rights of Jewish Americans and by extension Israel. So, what is going on all this week? You probably have no clue, right? You've not been following me? As I'm being abandoned by the new subscribers even. Nobody wants to listen to me. You need action, don't you? You will not do it on your own. You must see the action firsthand before you'll act, for, before you will believe. And it'll be too late then. Nothing always works as well as it does by a scripted TV show. It's Passover for the Jews. It's a Jewish holy day. Holy week. Eight days. And it's the significant one for the Jews because this has to do with the Jewish Christ for their latter days. And so unfortunately, Mormons are anti-Semites. They deny Joseph Smith, deny the Book of Mormon. What does the Book of Mormon say right at the very beginning that you're supposed to use throughout the rest of the book? You can't pick and choose which religious interpretation to use on the Book of Mormon. You can't mix it up and say, well, this passage is clearly Jewish, but this passage is clearly Christian, and this passage, it seems like it might even be Islamic. I sense he Hindu in this one, Buddhist in this one, Zoroastrian in that one, Greek in that one, Roman. No, you can't do that. You've got to stick with the theme that the author tells you at the beginning of the book. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. You kind of need to expect that that will be the theme for the whole book. You can't have a Star Trek episode where it doesn't involve being out in space on the Enterprise. <laughs> it's the actual characters doing something else. You can't do that. Stargate tried that. <laughs> but they were still in character. And so, I, I, you know, it's all over scriptures and you just, you refuse to, to listen I'm in vain here until something actually happens that compels you to believe and it will be too late for you then. But you were told in verse 40, the day had not yet come when they, Mormons, who would not hear their Christ, the Jewish Christ, not Jesus, remember, Christian, is abominable. And yet you can't make that connection, can you? 
he refused to make the connection. <sighs> Should be cut off from among the people, but soon would come. And he says it's precisely as it stands in our New Testament. Well, let's check to see if it is actually cut off, because none of you did that, did you? been telling you all these years, and not a single one of you did this, did you? To check, to see, precisely as it stands in our New Testament. So, 23 in Acts 3, and it, came to and it shall come to pass that every Mormon who will not hear their Christ shall be destroyed from among the people. Oh, that's a little different than cut off. No, duh. And so, I wouldn't be surprised at all if not a single one of you have been going over the events of Passover and Passion Week combined. That I did the video the other week in advance. So that you can study and learn how to learn for yourself not be dependent on me to tell you all the answers. So it's day three of Passover. This is the name identification. He sued Pharaoh, now he's doing the name identification. In Passion Week, the authors use this time period for instruction and parables and the character Jesus because remember Jewish authors not Christian tells us that he uses parables because the people are stupid <laughs> and even with the parables they only understand what applies to them. If he's talking about carpentry, only carpenters will understand them. Only for carpentry stuff. If he's talking to farmers, only farmers understand him only about farming stuff. They are incapable of understanding symbolism. And so, yeah, it's, you know, In the Book of Mormon, the Lamanites turn evil. They turn Christian and believe in a great spirit, not real Hamuzion of Constantine. And as a result, they become primitive savages. Now what's interesting is that they turn Christian. Christianity turns them into primitive savages. Now, what happened when the Spanish conquistadores came and visited the Aztecs? Yeah. Who was the primitive savages and who was the cultured people? Civilized people. The primitive savages were the Spanish conquistadores. The primitive savages were the Catholic Church, falsely accusing the native Indians of the Americas as being heathens and primitive savages. You know, beam and moats. You still don't know what the beam and moat is? Please tell me. It's right there with judging people. And so, you're not looking for Jesus. But that's who you're looking for. You have no idea that Jesus failed to show. been nice if there were those of you who also obtained the Urim and Thummim to follow along with me. What are you doing? <laughs> so 
See, the religious moon is being weighed on the scales of judgment. The sun is entering into the sacrificial ram constellation. And Jupiter is now leaving. He's in the Epis bull for the transition. Nelson is on the back of the white horse. There he is. There's your Christ, Mormons. You don't believe it. That's funny. So. Hmm. So, I, I just, I don't, I've got a big pile up that keeps adding up, and you don't care. The name is Emmanuel, it's right there in Isaiah, it's in the Book of Mormon, and you don't care. I'm write it down, I might forget. Yeah, he's late. You're late, Nelson. You're late. Revelation 19. I mean, seriously. There is so much that I know, and I can't reference everything. I can't give you all the answers in every single video. There's kind of a requirement on your part to learn how to learn from me. And you can't. You don't know how. You haven't been taught. I just, I don't really know where to go on from here. I've uh, gone over with you the name. I've done the, the uh, Paleo-Hebrew for you. But you're looking for somebody with a title rather than the gifts. Do not understand this. Your prophets only have the title. They themselves have denounced the power thereof. They will not prophesy of the latter days. They will not give you a date for the latter days. I did. I have the gifts. You can now judge me. Was I wrong? Did the 23rd of September sign in the heavens 2017 not happen? Did the three days of darkness not happen? on the day that I told you they would happen. You can't say no. You can't deny it. It happened. You participated. You saw the news, at least for the last one, if not the first one. And even the second one for those in Utah. You are aware of it. But not a single person who told you told you that it had to do with the prophecies in the scriptures because you believe the dumbass who put in the book of Matthew no man knows the day or the hour because the day and the hour is all over Matthew so somebody lied and so John in Revelation Chapter 12, chapter 19. Those are specific astronomy dates. You can't deny those. The church lot says, yeah, we can. <laughs> but you can't. See, the church denies you access to astronomy knowledge. Just like the Catholic Church did. But it still existed. It still happened. Exactly as prophesied. The events on earth happened just as prophesied. 
we're just into overtime now. And again, you will not proactively leave this church and leave the state of Utah to go build Zion with me. You don't believe. And I can't convince you. You will not hearken to me. You are waiting for some sign of action. And then you'll believe. And it'll be too late. I just, I really want to retire, literally. I've given up on you guys. Not a single one of you are demonstrating the fruits of repentance. The fruits that come from learning how to learn. I've even lost child faith. Where have you been? It's been a week, at least. What's going on with you? This is Passover, the 28th and the 29th and the 30th. Those are the days in the Passover calendar that we need to be paying attention to. And interesting, my mom's death or my mom's birthday is on the 28th, and her death was part of the fulfillment of the dream I had with Hinckley. But that's a, a complicated thing for you guys to understand because you're still struggling with learning of the Jews. But yeah, that has to do with visions, guys. Visions and dreams. Seer. I have the gifts. It's easy for you to judge, but you won't do it. You insist that Nelson, because he has the title, Therefore, you're waiting for him. He's flying on the horse right now. Zion. That's all I ever wanted. Ever since I was a kid, being told about Zion in the latter days, and we are the latter day saints, I wanted to go to Zion. I grew up with peers who were white supremacists, talking about all their abominations and inhumanity. I wanted nothing to do with mankind. I wanted to associate with women only. And women especially in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, are the most abusive women. And for you to be offended by that means you're guilty of it. But yeah, that's what you do. You do emotional guilt trips, you protest by abandoning me, and you're just hurting yourself. You're not hurting me. You don't get it. You know, Deanna Troy in another episode, the boy's mother dies while on assignment on a planet. And Deanna Troy is trying to figure out how to take away the boy's agency and control him to make him feel better. <laughs> in the presence of Worf, she's telling the boy, don't you feel angry with Worf? for being there when your mother died and he didn't die? Yeah! Now that you say that, yeah! I'm mad! <laughs> oh my god, who wrote this script? <laughs> oh dear god, get her off! Psychology is just pure evil. 
Nobody cares. So, there we go again. <laughs>